Hey everybody, welcome to the first ever song production breakdown video. Uh, hi, hi. And, and welcome JJ and Adil. Hi, hi. Drummer hi, and hi, producer hi. and bassist and producer respectively. Um, it's great to be quite, here, we're, we're quite respected. Thank, thanks, for, thanks for being here, guys. Um, so You're this welcome. has become quite a Got trend it. on the internet. Uh, you know, very cool artists uh, breaking down their, uh, you know, their songs. And uh, it's good for learning. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we have always had a very uh, easy and digestible pop music that we've put out. But uh, for anybody who's been part of the process knows that uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, underneath the hood of the song. Would you concur? I concur. Yeah, I concur too. Nice. Great. <laughs> so, um, so, so JJ, Adil and I have been working on a new album and, um, and this was uh, the first song. Adil, JJ and I. I oh, sorry, JJ, wait, Adil. you were correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Um, Good grammar. So, 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 so basically we've been working on a new album and uh, this was the first single uh, that came out earlier this year, uh, this year being 2020, but we shall speak of the year no more. Um, mm. Here's the first song. It's called lead. And um, do you guys, uh, why don't you guys tell me quickly before we just get into the stems, did you have any thoughts about the song when I came to you uh, with the, just the acoustic, the raw demo or whatever? Did you have, I know you guys didn't like it initially enough for us to kind of. No, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, I, at least I wouldn't say I, I didn't not like it. I was not fully convinced about where the song was going, but that bridge is what really hooked me. Like, really? like that when, when it, yeah, that is the section for me in the song, which like, really gets me to be because like this doesn't like, really I mean, have a bridge bridge it's like no it's not a bridge bridge it's like, like little outro extension to the chorus outro, yeah that that vibe mm -hmm. basically cool but yeah i uh i at, when i first heard the song i wasn't super excited about it because it's kind of different from most of the material that you brought in which is quite chord intensive and like more intricate lead is probably one of the simplest songs we've worked on I think and sometimes I find it really hard to zero in on an idea with the simple song because mm -hmm. it's the the possibilities are too many so it it always seems like it would be easy but it was kind of hard to like really fall in love with the song to come up with parts that we really like but I think we spent time on it. At yeah, least yeah like we dropped some mic stands on people's heads while yeah, recording I it. I was a different person. And and I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, so we've done yeah. a lot of things during the recording of the song. Basically, later basically to, to like this yeah, song. To like this I was song. not uh, assaulted by anyone. Basically. Yeah. Nice. So all of that happened. So it was a fun experience getting, cool. uh, getting it. Um, that is a different way of doing it also. Uh, yeah, so we'll I, talk about it through the song. We, we will talk yep. about it. I, I just want to say what the song is uh, just about. It's about... Um, it's a just a, forget what it's about more m mostly in this uh, for this purpose of this uh, breakdown uh, the song was supposed to be a very hopeful kind of inspirational kind of song and uh, that's the kind of stuff I like anyway which is like kind of positive energy and that's the vibe that we like to kind of uh, have on stage as well so um, so that's that was a big uh, important part of uh, the song so if you haven't heard the song listen to it first and then come and watch this video um, yeah stop wasting your time So, um, yeah. so cool intro, um, uh, Ramon from the Fanculos, another band that JJ plays with, uh, mentioned John Williams because he kind of helped me, uh, arrange the score sheet for, um, for the horn player who I really wanted to be on this song. Um, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, I think just the intro is, is really, really cool. Uh, and this horn section was really only for the end of the song, which we'll obviously get to. Uh, but I, we liked it so much that I decided to kind of put it in the beginning of the song itself. Um, just to kind of establish the notes because there's a lot, the ending gets pretty busy as it reaches a crescendo. And like, uh, I, I really wanted it to be at the beginning to kind of just incept the, the melody into people's minds so that when they 
here at the end, they don't have difficulty in picking up the notes because they've already heard it before. So okay, just solo the, the... Yeah, so the pad. The pad is kind of where it started. So yeah, the pad is where we started with the song, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll just solo that first. That was what, that was what the intro was, in a sense. Mm-hmm. So it's just... what's so awesome is that this song feels like pretty organically and in the sense that using very roots instruments which is just like bass guitar drums mm-hmm. uh and you know like big kind of drums and big sounds for all three but uh there's a lot of like synth work happening in the song which i actually really yeah. enjoy um and uh and yeah, obviously this this song i mean starts most of the songs we kind of do obviously starts with my acoustic guitar and uh, what was really interesting about the acoustic guitar on this song is that um and why the song even happened is because uh, it's just like the E major chord. I wish I had I'll just get my guitar, but the E major chord on this is basically just that shape moving from. And so the the root kind of stays the same, and that kind of became a big part of this song, uh, especially in the choruses and how we move the roots, uh, how we move from the root to kind of develop the song idea. But that's basically where the song started, and then we just kind of built from from there i think there's a there's a piano so there's a just a piano playing the bass underneath because that gave it a little bit more organic vibe to the intro also apart from the horn so it's like and with the that sounds good Then, and then on top of that, then you have John Williams influence <laughs> coming straight through there, which is just. There's some nice edits going on. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even there. That second horn run, which is da 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 ba da ba 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 ba, I just like duplicated that. This one, yeah, yeah. We just duplicated I mean, it because it felt like a nice, res- like call response kind of section in the beginning. Kind of resolve, yeah. If you if you guys want to just hear the horns quickly and then we can move on to the verse. Mm-hmm. Uh, just just a little bit of what the horns. Yeah. They're quite drenched in reverb. Uh, but it gives it that nostalgic kind of like uh, big vibe. Very hopeful kind of vibe. I mean, that was yeah. the reason why. So, I I used a website called Fiverr, where they're very affordable instrumentalists, um, and uh, and they're really good because and the way the the website works is that they have. Um, most of the people who are working out of their, you know, bedroom studios and stuff like that, for them, it's not a big in- cost to incur. And so that's, that's why they can, um, you know, give these competitive rates. So I found a guy called Will Allen Jr. Who goes by, uh, I think, uh, Big uh, 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 Brass. And um, he's on Fiverr. And uh, I'll put a link to his uh, thing in this. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, he was awesome, man. He was only, I only asked him for 30 seconds at the end. This exact section, which was supposed to be for the end. But he was kind enough to kind of like, he enjoyed the song so much that he just kind of did the entire song and he added like few sections, which really helped the, the vibe of the song. So, um, so yeah, thank you, Will, uh, wherever you are, hope you're doing well. And uh, thanks for the horns.
love this verse, man. Uh, uh, it's so different from the from the choruses and the other parts of the song. Uh, when somebody heard it, they were like, "Man, it sounds very um, sounds very early Radiohead." Mm. <laughs> I don't know if that's because it has a lot of those uh, textural el- elements um, that are going on. What did you guys um, um, think of it? So I remember we spent a lot of time, like until we got here, like we had gone through because the verse is super simple. It's just like a simple like backbeat kind of groove mm-hmm. and like yeah. nothing too heck. I don't even yeah. There's nothing hectic to call this on. yeah. Coming back, but it's so hard to come with this. And like zero in on it because the options are too many. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I think we we worked on the song a lot. I, at least this was like the theme of this album. Without actually playing it, we would just kind of like put stuff down and listen that to is it. True. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, finished the song the, before we actually played it live. Is that correct? We we kind of did, but mm, when we played yeah. it live, uh, is when we we're like, okay, now we gotta play the song. I think immediately, like the natural instincts kind of kicked in, and and this is how we got to this kind of groove, which mm. we all really like. And yeah, we, we had another groove before it. this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was kind of. I have. I have those earlier versions. So I, in fact, talking about the verse, I might have to just quickly jump back because uh, mm-hmm. there are like a few things that I don't even remember. Like, see this track, <laughs> which is like this piano effects track, which. Uh, this is my favorite thing about this verse. You have yep. to tell. You have to tell yeah, whoever's watching this. Okay, like this sound was created without any real plugin as such. I mean, there was a plugin. I mean, there are plugins the to make it. Yeah, so it was basically, and we have not but used any real But the plugin doesn't pianos. do this. So, so, so that sound is really interesting because um, we wanted to obviously fill the verse with um, with the textural stuff and pads and things like that. But one thing which happened by accident was that sound. Was basically a piano uh, velocity, like the the basically on the on the piano ah, roll. It was the velocity. the velocity, and every time you increase the velocity on a piano VST, it kind of triggers ah, the sound. So it yeah. would go through all the other velocities. So that's how you get that. <laughs> sound. So so basically, we did that. Picked a few notes and then like drenched it in a bunch of uh, FX uh, sends and and reverbs and delays and things like that. So you can see, uh, see the pan man is here. So you I love can the see pan man. Just play it back. Yeah. So it's just yeah. Oh damn. So it just moves it and like in and it creates the sense of space because like the thing is the rest of the mm-hmm. track is uh, so basically what we've done is the drums have a cutoff filter on it, which is kind yeah, of yeah, which is something I really first. really wanted. Yeah, because it has that uh, nice kind yeah. of starts. Yeah. That's the cutoff. That's how gradual it is through the verse. I mean, starting pretty high up. It's starting oh, only at at three o'clock, yeah. and and it doesn't end. It doesn't ever open up to the full frequency spectrum. It ends here at like whatever o'clock you want to call this. It seems like around eighteen kilohertz, which is fine. I mean, it's higher than that. The thing is that it just warms it up. So so, but what 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 was happening is that. And the drums are also tracked. I mean, there weren't, there wasn't too much going on. Yeah, I think you just did like two loops, drums. right? Of the because there are no yeah. drums. No, no, no. no we recorded chorus? the whole thing. We recorded the whole thing, but uh, in the in the verse, we recorded it as a groove. Uh, but uh, I don't know why I have so many cuts here, and in the verse I don't end of kick. Anyway, I don't know. Must have been like cleaning up something. Mm. Uh, so uh, anyway, so yeah, guys. Is, tip was, for everyone, mm, guys, clean your tracks. Use melodyne. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Use synthetic instruments. It's all fine. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. As long it. as it sounds good. Yeah, it has yeah. to sound good. No in the questions. End. Don't asked. do this. Don't do this hipster kind of like. Oh, we're not going to use a click track for this. Are you mad? Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a pain to edit. Uh, so, um, uh, so you can see like it's a mono room, mono overhead. So basically, the point was was to have all the live instruments. Uh, as much as possible in the center. There's no guitar, not much guitar really going on. Yeah, I think on. there's like little the production stuff going on, but that's what it. Is. Yeah, exactly. So and 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 the and the production would take up the 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 sides, and the mid would be mainly the live stuff. So if you see, if you hear any all all the production stuff that's going on in the verse, I'll just solo that. It's like it's all like quite like wide. And then the what is this EP sound? I can't remember. It's just a. I think it's a. 
He's gay, PP, if I'm not mistaken. I don't even remember. Maybe, yeah, maybe. It's good. Ah, no, it's like analog lab. It was, it was analog, analog lab, lab coffee. Uh, uh, oh, I'll, coffee I'll, I'll remember that. Coffee time. Yeah, this, this, this Muppet Mayhem is also analog lab. Yeah, so it's, I love it's this one. basically these textures. So it's, it was this. It was this. Uh, basically playing out and around in the in the in the stereo field, and then mm-hmm. center was our instruments. And Adil, uh, did you oh. you tracked bass on this? Uh, I remember Adil really enjoying the bass tracking for this. So uh, I remember we did. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa! What did I press? Did I press something? Yeah, I did. Oops. Oh, sorry, bass is guys. always a little noisy. Oh, my bad. Single one. <laughs> uh, I remember once, so like basically once you track these new drums, uh, I wanted to change the bass immediately because like we were just using scratch bass ideas that I did at home. Sorry, 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 Adil. And ah. uh, we, for bass, I used my, my, I think we used... We used the dark glass head. Dark yeah, glass, you dark glass. glass. So you brought the dark glass and, head uh, and we amped the, we amped and we the used, And we just like mic the cab and we did it like, very simply in the room and it took like i think an hour and a half yeah uh once we got the sound right and it was a lot of fun and it sounded huge and i think uh my takeaway from just recording most of this album is don't settle for di's <laughs> yeah the <DM's, yeah. laughs> mike something yeah. get yeah, the, the, the feeling right like a piano yeah. So that's what's supporting the piano, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it sounds really good. Yeah. So that's a bass. And so so just to give you an example, this would be the bass DI without the amp. Check it out. Ah. That would be nothing. Uh, <laughs> because he's grouped him in there. Uh I'll just go like ahead somewhere. Yeah, let's hear the voice. So this is without the amp. And this is with the amp. It's very s- that air. it's it's subtle, yeah. But it's got that top end. It'll have that cut through. It's got that mm-hmm. it's got that mid range. Um, yeah, man, it's got yeah. oomph. I love it. Without that, it's like it's there. It's also adding a little bit to the level of it, pushing things forward. And then that's why when you. I still let them see I was never yeah, born. Nice. Yep. Cool. That's the bass. That's the verse. I think we got through the verse pretty let's, much. Uh, let's get to the to the chorus. Chorus. Yeah. One second. I'm just going to undo my... What's stupid... so interesting about this chorus though is that um, this is the only chorus which has horns in it. Like as in like the, the, the first chorus. So there's one chorus in the song and then the next chorus has... It's a triple chorus and that's how the song kind of concludes as well. And the first chorus has like these horns. But when we repeat the chorus, the first time it happens, the horns are missing because we wanted to kind of build a crescendo. So we kind of removed it. So it's like, this is kind of a unique chorus. And I, and I really like that about this one. Yeah. Should I, uh, should mm-hmm. I hit the chorus? Yeah. Hit, hit. I hit it. Show me where I've got to leave. Cause I will never know what to follow. Sweet, great That's chorus. It. Yeah, yeah. Chill. Um, some interesting uh, uh, trivia about the vocals in this uh, song is that um, it remains. They were sung by Tejas. Sorry. Huh. <laughs> it remains as the first demo vocal that I did in my old house before moving into this house. Um, there was uh, no other takes for this song. Uh, the only place I, re- I, I replaced uh, one line in the song uh, because there was a slight pop on the mic. Uh, but everything else was just like the first take because it had like feels and I tried to read it's the it. whole it was the whole song right yeah yeah see the Except date is line. on the file also oh wait no this is uh, 260320 20 can't be the original no so then it's my uh, re-export of it but yeah it's still the original ah, maybe I never did any other takes of this song I don't I don't remember doing any other takes so oh yeah I re- I, I had to replace that one place where there was there was a pop 
Yeah, tell us about the drums. I mean, we all played Adil Malika, who's also on this song. Uh, I did not record drums on the chorus. We, yeah, three of us did. All oh, right, you yeah. did. I did not record yeah. drums on the chorus. So, like, uh, unfortunately, now in this session, I don't have it because there was lots of like mics all over the room. There were about like mm. nine mics. I gave like Malika, Tejas, and uh, Adil. Adil. Uh, yes, Adil. Very importantly, Adil in that situation. Like, so Adil was sitting on the kit, kicking the kick drum with his foot, obviously. I gave Tejas an 18-inch or I gave Malika an 18-inch kick drum yeah. and Tejas a floor tom. Uh, then each of them were using different snares in different parts of the room also. Yeah, And, and, we, and like, we all tracked it at the same time, right? That was so cool. That was yeah, awesome. they all tracked it at the same time. Uh, this is... Uh, so there's, uh, there's this... Um, Space echo that's there on the snare. I'm muted for now, but sounds pretty good. So yeah, so that's that's like that's like a mix down of about like fifteen tracks. Plus I put in a sample also. Yeah. Uh, mm. Just to just to add more like like weight to the whole thing. And, yeah, it was actually uh, cool snare... because I've never really done a chorus like this ever. I don't think that was neither have I. Neither have I. I know, and you can kind of hear the individual textures. It's exactly. a very weird sounding kick. We'll never have a kick that has that kind of like top end yeah. to it, I think. But yeah. that's like, it's, it's cool. I it like sounds it. like, a, it sounds like a sub and a, and a normal kick mic and another. Yeah, yeah so there were of, two sub mics. So yeah. there were two. So we have two sub kicks. I mean, we have a sub kick and a low freak. So we put them at both ends. I, I remember we had sub like. Kick. Yeah, we mm. had the sub kick on each of the all of them. big drums, all of them, and 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 so be, be, anyway, the point is is that this was a composite of like a bunch of like tracking. We put out room mics also because we wanted to. I mean, there's a good amount of verb on the kick if you hear. Mm -hmm. yep. It's not something I normally do, but it needed to sound like like an orchestra. Like a reverb kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was there, and then there's the snare, which is pretty straightforward. And there's a, a there's a space spaghetti western the gunshot. Also. I don't know why I like the space echo. There was something it's, about it's nice because it's got that top that top end for because I, I always feel like and I this is a something I've learned from you, which is I always roll off the top from my for my reverbs when it comes to like yeah, and stuff. Look at this. I mean, I, but I, this I, I you it needed off. to kind it's of intrusive. stand out a little bit more. Yeah, I know exactly. But uh, so that's why that. But here yeah. I didn't. But here I didn't. Exactly. Yeah. On that's the space what I'm echo. Yeah. Because you needed to kind of yeah. cut through and yeah, it was a good call. Exactly. So, but but I do as a hygiene thing. Uh, as a hygiene thing on the this. on the reverbs, I do cut it off like yeah. on the master reverb buses. Wait, so what are you cutting it? To? I have. Mm, thank you. Okay. Uh, eight. Eight okay. at an eighteen dB. Well, I mean, I it's just. Anyway, I've done all of these in the individual tracks, but if by chance I forget something on the master, on the group, on the effects group itself, I, I, and then I widen the, I widen the bands in the, uh, uh widen the bands what? I, I, I widen we'll see if the, the sentence bands. will be applicable to us also. I widen the effects bands depending on the, uh, band. So like, like the, 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 the topmost is like, as pushed wide as possible, then this between like what between 3.9 k and between 12 k, I push like it 58 uh, percent, and I like mono. Although there's nothing going on in the reverbs below below two three hundred actually, but if anything leaks through, it should not be like you know it should should not be widened at all mm -hmm. because it's just unnecessary mud on the sides which you don't need. So sorry, mm -hmm. technical thing. Uh, Love it. No, JJ, JJ obviously mixed this track. Accurate. So it's like, this is good info, dog. Yeah. That's, also, that's it's a very cool. open section. Like this, it's all about yeah. letting the kick and snare be exactly. loud and spacey. So even though these reverbs are kind of like heightened, it's just like what it sounds like. When you listen to the chorus, there's no hi-hats. There's not exactly like, not too many high, harsh frequencies in there. So it's cool to let these guys be in that. Spectrum. Mm -hmm. Ah, one one thing I, I messed up. Uh, sorry, guys, you won't hear it in this. Is the crashes? Plugin missing. <laughs> uh, just yeah. imagine. But I mean, yeah. just 
no, they're, they're just like one yeah. shots. They're yeah, they're just one guys. shots. Yeah, yes, you've heard crashes. Yeah, so see, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't record the crashes, but I had, uh, I had uh, my battery. Love it. I just had battery. Uh, oh. I had a, I had samples. I mean, I've recorded samples of me playing crashes. So, okay, so you just use them. I just, just use them. I played them as a MIDI instrument. They had to be like. One kind of velocity, in a sense. Good. So that was done. I like yeah. that. Yeah, that's great. So that 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 was that. Uh, the 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 second verse is pretty much the same. Uh, is there anything else extra going on? I think it's uh, the bridge. Like the transition into the the second. There is that one is. part of the uh, uh, the um, sound toy plugin which I like, where it goes into this really high register kind of echo. Um, I think it's in, here. It, I think it's in the second verse. Ah, uh, correct. We made a point to make a point of that, right? Agree. <laughs> <laughs> so this sound kind of reaches this peak um, somewhere here. I think it's in the next. Uh... Yeah. The third one. Is it here? There it is. That's crystallizer. That's definitely okay. crystallizer. Yeah, yeah. So how is it? Uh, how was it? Was it like a randomized kind of uh, thing, or were we picking the octaves that it would? I can't remember what mm. we did on crystallizer. I mean, the thing is, crystallizer has like modulations and stuff also. Yeah, it's got like a I, set. I, yeah, patterns, right? Like I, I remember we were sitting. We were doing this at your house. This whole verse was done yeah. at your house. The three of us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Dicking around, I oh, I, I don't I don't remember. But dick around cat. in crystallizer, yeah. There was was there the cat then? Yeah, cat has just come. Your cat had Katie. Just, yes. Yeah. She yeah. kept me up for like two hours in the morning. She I think she she yeah. mewed in a similar tone and, it, ah, and we were inspired. Inspired, correct, correct. I know. It's very hard so, for me to create that sound. Pre-chorus. Uh, yeah, let's so do that bridge. Yeah. So, ha, ah, sorry. See, I was never ordinary. I'm a so, big uh, uh, Dave Matthews fan. Kind yeah. of for crash into me, it? inspired yeah. me. Uh, that's Very where that's coming from. Yeah. 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 No, it, it, it's awesome. Um, you know, that it's like that marching band vibe over here. That was a really good call. I think the other thing that I really enjoy about this are the harmonies uh, by Harmony. uh, Arya mm-hmm. Naji, who was not even, uh, who was just present at the time of recording because she's... She was recording. She was recording. Uh, no, yeah, she, I yeah. don't think she was tracking this song. She did another song which no? she tracked uh, and recorded okay. herself at the same time. So she was, uh, she obviously works at Island City and, um, and, and, and yeah, she was there and Malika... Um, was also obviously we um, you know she sings with us so it's like we wanted to get these nice little build up harmonies to hit the chorus on the head and uh, I really love these harmonies man these are really really you nice. want me to check if I can go back to see I mean and uh, I don't think it makes sense it's just there was like again nah, we good. there were T's DT's T's DT's takes DT's takes DT's right. there was like about 8 or yeah. 9 like, like so- composite is just one Malika and one Arya, or is it both? No, no, it's like no, it's both a few. everyone. In it's, fact, it's, it's, there are a couple of parts as well. Also. Yeah, yeah, there are a couple of parts that I wrote. Because they're doing different okay. like notes, as far as I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Just this part is very nice. Yeah. Wait, uh, I think that uh, Space Echo is uh, <laughs> playing. I kind of like that. And then the chorus. So you can hear Tejas is in there also. My demo vocals are there in this. I remember I did this yeah, because... Yeah. Um, so the really <clears throat> nice thing I really love about the song is the fact that like I mentioned earlier was the, that the root is present in the chorus and it doesn't move off of that E, uh, that mm-hmm. root until like the, the third and the fourth chorus in the song. 
And in the first chorus, I still wanted to kind of imply that changes were happening because I didn't want it to. There's a song called uh, Notion, I think, by Kings of Leon. Have you heard that song? Oh, yeah. So it's basically Ocean. the whole song is on D. The whole song. They, they right, 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 right. And it's, and it's just, um, uh, but they do a lot of uh, like movement within that chord, even though the root is static. So I really want to do that. So I put down these, uh, these vocals that kind of, pretend to be like chord changes. So it's just like the right hand of a piano. So uh, so those are what we got Arya and uh, Malika to also sing. And uh, that's the chorus uh, harmonies. Cool. Should I move on? Yep. Yep. So uh, the chorus with everything sounds like this. because I, So the first chorus doesn't have the harmonies. And that's where the second chorus kind of, you see that there's no yeah. like... The no, harmonies no. come in in the pre-chorus actually for the first time. Yeah, but there are no horns uh, in this first co- this first of the second choruses. Ah, correct. There are no horns. Is yeah. that the case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no and horns here. I, I remember there's asking no... you, JJ, will you add those horns? And you were just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we forgot. And then we were just like, oh, okay, cool. This is fine. This works. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because see, that's what makes the difference. I mean, it's like it the choruses are all exactly the same. Yeah. Okay, so like first chorus is just the vocals, drums, and 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 acoustic, whatever, uh, and that that pad, the Anna Poly pad, which is mm-hmm. what creates a little bit of bigness anyway. Mm-hmm. Then the second, so the second chorus is the same thing with just backing vocals added because the backing vocals have come in in the pre-chorus before that, yeah. and then the third chorus is building. So it's like you know, it's just like stepping it up slowly, slowly, so that there's yeah. a dynamic progression in the song. And that's a good thing about the song is that although it's very simple. There's always something, uh, yeah, slightly there's nothing minimal about you're... it, yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, there's very, I mean, they, uh, there, there it's is minimal a... but progressive, yeah, there's yeah. lots of uh, there are plenty of elements to kind of uh, listen to in the song, it's 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 a exactly. big meal, yeah. Also, I want to add one more thing in the last chorus. So, if you like are listening to the song until this point you don't really hear any different chords. It's always these like three mm. chords under the same root. And then finally, I mean, the bridge has that one change is the only thing that is a different thing. But chorus, the, the root notes change and then we change the chords. And like that really adds to the crescendo as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, They'll really remember that. No, that's New like the nicest thing. Because like, because uh, it's the same vocal guess, melody. Well, exactly. <laughs> it's the same vocal I mean, melody yeah, that's just repeating over it. And it's just, but the movement of the chords underneath that is probably the most, uh, ni- like, that's the nicest thing about the song, like, very heartwarming kind of sentiment you can build from there. But yeah, let's hear it. So I'll, I'll, I'll hit it. I'll hit it to the end of the out, till the out. Okay. Sure. Show me where I've got to leave. Cause I will never know to follow. the crash actually was coming out of that section into the end otherwise i wasn't really missing the crashes all the time yeah i think it's fine and uh, there's enough top end there so that you don't really miss yeah. it yeah they were they were an after i mean they weren't an afterthought they were they were a very go to drama move to be honest for me and so maybe my insecurity felt like it had to be there but you're not you're you're not a go to drummer jj you are way more than that oh 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 oh, oh, oh. Thank, you. Oh, oh, oh. thank you thank you thank he's you, thank a you. business owner uh-huh. Uh, 
Um, so there's lots to unpack in this uh, in this triple course. Essentially, what's happening here? Uh, the first thing is uh, the yeah, like Adil mentioned, like the base kind of changing uh, from that root to which is an E, then going from E to B to A, and then from A flat to A to B to C sharp to A flat to A, and then uh, kind of uh, reaching that kind of movement. Um, bunch of things I really. You guys really like can in this. fast forward and rewind this video to understand what he just said. Just... <laughs> it's it's fine. It's not that complicated. Listen to the song a lot. Yeah. Learn it. <laughs> oh god. It'll be right. Um, let's uh, let's hear some of the uh, elements coming in from the second of the of the of this triple chorus. Yeah, there's that tam that comes in also, which lifts up the momentum of the groove a little bit. I yeah, think. I yeah, Monday. that's true. Because I would never know now. Show me. This is maybe a, one of the first few ideas I had for the song. I put, I think this is straight from the demo, which I sent you, right? Yeah, it's from uh, the demo. This is from yeah. the demo. There it says lead 103 keys and ARP demo. Yeah, so uh, I made this ARP uh, very quickly. I, I remember JJ using this term to define a bunch of these things that I put in, which really sweeten it. And appropriately, he said, all this, uh, they just, all this uh, candy is still there. All the candy is still there. <laughs> So ear like, candy. Ear candy. candy. Yeah. So all the ear candy is uh, is there in the top end of this. Like this ARP is there, and there's also that really high end. Earlier, scene. yeah. Yeah. Which um, that's yeah. that's what takes that's what takes a chorus three, like the the repeat of the chorus in yeah. when the chorus comes back here. It it pushes it with the with the horns, obviously, and and the lead pad comes in. Ah, see, there's the difference. That that Anna Polly, there's no Polly. Yeah, uh, there's in, no uh, Polly in this first chorus here. See if you see this. I remember. So see yeah. this. I mean, so it's it's about sometimes just just playing a little bit of Lego. Uh, yes, yeah, so much of it. Yeah. Because you got you 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 can like you can like stack up like a million ideas and then you can just like yeah and play yeah. around. You know, a little bit of a lot trial of, and error. I a mean, lot of grid play. Exactly. Mm. That's why metronome recording. That's what he said. Yes. That helps. Click track. You can do that. <laughs> My watch asked me, "What do you want to say?" No, oh. I, I don't want to say anything to her. Okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so 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 this is a clear example of like like us realizing uh, that you know what there is the vocals coming in. So the vocals adds that paddy texture, the ah uh, harmonies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as uh, so we can save this to come in to the second time and so the first chorus and the second chorus c1 and c2 can sound a little different yeah, and then yeah. c3 can have the progression and then that's by the horns in come in on the on the on c3 yeah c3 horns come in c3 the keys come in uh, the this like high key thing which we were listening to yeah this thing comes in this uh, is c2 this, this is c3 no it's two this c1 no 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 C1 is a C1 is here in the beginning of the song. No, not C2. that. Oh, as in, oh, you're calling C2. Uh, as uh, in, from, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yes, in that case, C3, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, this is C3. The third time the chorus comes in the whole song. So, the third time the chorus comes in the whole song, it's got this added layer. Uh, this comes back. It's not there in the first chorus. Yeah. And, and oh, we that. have the horns coming That is in. so warm and nice. Actually, wait. The horns come in at C4. 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 I mean, yeah, C4. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So bridge chorus is what I called it. Yeah, there you see it. Bridge <laughs> <Right>. chorus. <laughs> it's just another chorus. So, but yeah, but yeah, C4 yeah. is when. Uh, yeah, but it's like a, it. It had a it had a bridge feeling because it. It's different from. The, yeah. You are, any other you part, are right. Yeah. It, it does use one of the chords from <laughs> By the bridge. By that definitely. Yes. Yeah. So exactly. So it had. Mm. I mean. Oh, so you call this section pre-chorus is what you're calling the bridge, huh? Oh, that's what you were calling the bridge, <laughs> No, no, no. I this finally is not understand. I'm calling, bridge. I'm calling this the bridge. Yeah, exactly. The because the, in the, the beginning yeah, of this... the session, you were like, the bridge is what convinced me. I was like, that's a weird part for him to like. But uh, No, no, no. This part. Yeah, yeah. This is the main. This is the... That's where the camera comes from. Yep. 
man, that last that's scream uh, was that's such an lush. afterthought. Uh, oh yeah, it was not. And every time it started, every time it started from a certain point. Remember what was it? Yeah, it was like. Okay. A- ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait, 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 one second. I don't remember, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know. No, it's this next one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just I, I want to make a a, serious a video. small uh, note here that most of the tales of my vocals have a very breathy kind of response so if you isolate any of them it's going to be very funny to listen to but really good yeah. to sample just saying anyway um ha uh, uh, all of that sexy sounds uh, i i think i think i mean i think that's 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 all there is i mean we can sit and analyze each and every single thing like wait but i forgot i wanted it, it, i wanted to show one of my favorite things about this song What is it's that? It's the acoustic guitar at the end. Like honestly one of my favorite things. What? The oh, acoustic guitar uh, licks that uh I yeah, added again yeah, pretty yeah. late in the game. Oh. Hey. I mean, what I I thought that was nice. Oh, this. Played with the Anapoli. Play or the acoustic that. guitar, just the main acoustic guitar. I'll just play the acoustic. This is all the guitars. Hmm. That's interesting. I oh. have no almost no reverbs going on the acoustic guitars. I think that was by like, by choice, I think. Yeah, by, I mean, design. by design. Yeah, 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 yeah I know, yeah, yeah. I know. It's just because there is a lot of fucking yeah. verb going on yeah. on the horns on the drums on the on 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 all the synth elements also like production elements there's a lot reverb on the vocals backing vocals are quite mm. drenched so mm-hmm. it's good to have like and also yes i remember we went back and forth on delays on this and it was uh, not right. cutting through well enough yeah it was so yeah. we decided uh, yeah so that was that was uh, i have yeah, can there we, you go can we solo the bass on the bridge chorus I just want to hear that. We can solo the bass. Yeah, this is like the the meat of the of the emotional movement comes from these notes kind of changing. So last thing I want to say, um, uh, Malika's vocals are uh, not the backing, not the harmon, the harmonies, the not the main backing vocal stack. The uh, worded she, harmonies. Yeah, the worded harmonies. Super high registers. Yeah, these are really nice. If you can. Show me where I'm to leave. Yeah, these are cool. Malika's voice has this thing where it's kind of got like a bit of a flange on it naturally. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I also no, no. I'm I'm not talking about this, but I'm just saying like because I comp these vocals, so it was. Uh, uh, she's got like a nice like. It's just really, really good timbre. Yeah, it's got like this nice kind of. I've kept it and 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 it is a little bit. It's not. It's Can not as like. Can you play it with my vocal? Sure. Show me where I've got to lead. Cause I will never know how to follow. Show me where I've got to lead. And then she is. Cause I will never know now. I will never know now. No, I'll never know now. Yep, nice. that's it. Yeah, that's, that. that's, that's the song. Uh, so that's pretty much the song. Um, cool. That was interesting. It was fun, guys. We should probably do yeah. this again. Um, this is. A, I mean, yeah, we finished it. With another song, I think Bombay Bombay Dolls might take uh, a few days 
uh, to uh, do on this to get the this, session. Yeah, going. so that's the <laughs> yeah. other thing, right? Like uh, this is relatively, as we mentioned earlier, one of the simpler songs on the album. Uh, it only. Goes... I mean, actually, forget conversation story. Also, pretty relatively in this. We have rate. not dropped the it's track really... list yet, JJ. So okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, but it's fine. Um, but this but, is yeah. super fans. If you've stayed till this point, I this think they true. deserve. <laughs> this is true. This is true. True, true that. True. Oh true. God. Um, cool. So, yeah, I did fell asleep. I fell asleep in the middle of it also once or twice. No, um, I'm just joking. Great, great, great. I'm anyway, okay. uh, this is interesting. We uh, we should try and do this uh, more often when when we have a few more songs uh, uh, out in the album. Uh, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed it, let us know what you liked the most in the comments. And um, and uh, thanks, JJ and Adil. This was fun. Thanks for having me. Oh shit! I deleted the screen recording. <laughs> <laughs> I still have this file, the Zoom file. Yeah, but and I know you would hate if that's what goes up. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right, bye everybody. Bye. Bye.